Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how we can get information from Microsoft Excel and place it into an Adobe PDF document and I'm also going to show how we can read information from a PDF document. Now the code that I use in this is we're going to use, be using the Visual Basic environment. A lot of this code was put together using Adobe's developers uh, developers website where they have information about how you can use API to pull data from a PDF document or other Adobe programs. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to give you a quick demonstration. I have two fields that have already been written. We have read Adobe fields and then we have write to Adobe fields. So first I'm going to go over the read Adobe fields. I have a document that's already open. Test1.pdf. It's a W4 form. And I have some values already in here, but we can just erase them out. But for the sake of this test, I'm going to just put in some numbers here. One, two, three, four, five, and six, just for fields A through F. I mean, this form is a lot bigger. And I'm just going to put in first name and last name. And we'll just put in a fake social. And what I'm going to do is go to Microsoft Excel now. Um, might I say really quick, test1.pdf is located in one of my folders. So I'm going to do read Adobe fields. And what we're going to first do, we're going to call the Adobe application. Give me a second before I explain the code. Let me just play it out so you can see what it does. I'm going to run the macro that says read Adobe fields and hit run. And what it's doing for you, to the, le to the left we have column B, this gives you the name of the field, like what the name of the, the property is, and in this case, if you're familiar with computer programming, like a user form, every field that you have has a name. So like if I, ju I just drew a user form right here, we have a text box, if we were to right click that and click properties, the name of this field is text box 1. So what we're doing over here though, what's in column B is the name of the field that's in the PDF document. So in this case, this field right here is where we have the first name. So let me go to the document. This box right here, the name of this box is this field, is, is this name right here. Where we have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which we put as A through F, these are the name of, of, those, of those fields. So let me go on and go back to the code now. The other procedure that I have is write to Adobe fields. So what I've done here is I'm writing to two fields. And the field that I have set here is the first name, which is F1 underscore zero nine underscore zero. And that's exactly the one that I placed right here. So if I also put changes out to test name and then we I'm gonna play the code now hit run if I toggle back to my Adobe test one file actually I have to click out of it so let me click out there it can't be an active field it has to be uh, unactive so let me try this again actually no there test name it's it's set so let's just do this one more time visual basic We'll just do it to testing one, two, three. And we're gonna play the code. Click run. And there you have it. The first name has been changed to testing one, two, three. And the way I wrote to it again is by using the name of these fields over here. I knew that the first name field, that this was the name. And in Visual Basic, we used right here fields. Place the name that you want it, the name of the field that you want to change, dot value, and then change it to testing123. So to briefly explain how, how these work, again, a lot of this code is from, from Acrobat's Developers Network Forum. One of the first things that you're going to have to do is declare all your variables and, of course, the call to the application. So you have your, your declarations. On error resume next, you don't necessarily need this, but this is just in case you come across any errors. For example, field.style. This property is not available in every single field in, the, in this Adobe document. 
So for example, these fields right here, first name, last name, social, home address, city, state, and zip, don't have that property where you have the field.style. But you, these checkboxes over here do have a style because that's a, that's a, che that's a checkbox style. But the on error resume next, you don't need that. That's just in case if the program comes across any errors, it just goes to, to the next step. But what you're going to do here, though, is you have to call the Adobe Acrobat um, application. Then we have to call the document. And this is where we're actually opening the document. So to customize this for your code, what you're going to want to do is put in your directory and your, your path to your PDF file that you want to open. You want to show the application. And what we're going to do, this is going to be the important part. You don't need to make any changes to this. But what you're going to do here in this repetition, this is just going to be going through each field. And what I'm doing here is reading the name, the value, and the style. The name being the name of the box, which is where the demonstration I, I showed you in the user form as to each field has a name the value in this case what's actually in the box and d the style uh, as like, as i mentioned earlier a lot of these boxes they don't have a style but the checkbox does have a style which you see in, in that it was written out in column d as as it was being outputted and then all this portion down here just clears all the instances of of the calling of the Adobe document and the Adobe application. Writing to the Adobe fields is is, is rather, it's, it's more simple than this code because we're not doing any kind of repetitions. All we're doing is the same declarations. We're calling the document. And once you call the document, it's just a matter of just putting the fields in. So if we wanted to put in the last name, I'm just gonna give you uh, one more example. The last name we already knew uh, that this is the field name. I'm just going to copy this code, copy that name, and we're just going to change this out. We're just going to do fields that value. This is the last name, and I'm just going to play this code now. Right to Adobe Fields, run. We click outside the box, last name, this is the last name. So this just gives you a real quick demonstration on how you can read a PDF document and how you can write to it. Now you may not be able to save to it because you would need Adobe Professional to do that. But I mean, the, if you do have Adobe Pro Professional, this can really help you out because I can tell you from a business standpoint, um, a, lot of, a lot of times we might have a, an open database connection where we have data in the back end and we may have fields where we have first name, last name, and we may need to quickly populate a PDF file, and this is one quick way to do it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna have this code posted into the YouTube description. A lot, I mean, it's not all going to fit, but I'll have it posted in, in multiple comments. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.